You know who my favorite character in Sonic the Hedgehog 2 is going to be? Tika Sumter. Hipster Sonic! Hipster, hipster, hipster Sonic! Sonic! But seriously, I am glad that Tika Sumter is coming back for Sonic the Hedgehog 2 because she is fine! Hey, it's Andre, and I am getting super excited for Sonic the Hedgehog 2. So they had a couple of commercials that came out during the Winter Olympics, but they were mostly just slight extensions of scenes we had already seen. But for the big game, for that Uber Bowl, they went all out with a brand new commercial that's kind of a trailer because it has a lot of new stuff in it that we gotta check out. Check this out, oh my gosh. <laughs> See what we did there? I like it, I like it. God dang, look at old Knuckles. Oh, he's taller than all of them. Sonic the Hedgehog. You're no match for me. Oh, uh, nice. boys. This is your moment to be the big hero. Oh, great, the Winter Soldier. <laughs> <laughs> it is my destiny to destroy you. Wow. Work smarter, not harder. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't too bad. <laughs> Sonic the Hedgehog 2, April 8th. Wow. I mean, it's really short. It's a commercial. But oh my gosh, there's so much new stuff in there to talk about. Let's get into it. First off, the heads or tails thing. Because again, this is going to be shown during the big game. You know, Super Bowl is copyrighted. The big game. <laughs> but yeah, doing heads or tails. And obviously having tails on the coin, very smart move. I also saw on the Sonic movie Instagram page, apparently if in the actual game, the coin toss lands on tails, they're gonna give away free tickets to see the movie. So let's hope it lands on tails. And what I like about this shot is we actually now get to see the height <laughs> of Sonic, Tails, and Knuckles, obviously tails being the shortest. I thought at first that Sonic and Knuckles were about the same height, but it looks like from here, Knuckles is a little bit taller. You know, he's not the big Knuckles that we got from Sonic Booms. He has his arms and legs equally strong, but you can tell that they still gave him that height a little bit over Sonic, but yet with a more classic design. And not only do you have that cool Knuckles design, you got that cool, smooth Knuckles voice. Sonic the Hedgehog. You're no match for me. Uh, nice. <laughs> I mean, I knew Knuckles would have a deep voice, but man, Idris, <laughs> God dang. <laughs> I thought he'd be like, hey, I'm Knuckles, but he's like, hey, I'm Knuckles. I'm gonna kill you, Sonic the Hedgehog. But yeah, we get a nice close-up look at his face and his eyes that glow red. Oh man, the Knuckles design is so good. You do not need to do a redo of Knuckles like you had to do with Sonic in the first movie. This is great, this is great. One mission is to hunt down Sonic the Hedgehog. You're no match for me. You're no uh, match for me. We get some new footage of Knuckles as well in the snowboarding scene. We saw a little bit of that in the trailer and in other TV spots, but now we see that Knuckles is there as well. This looks so cool. Just him coming out of the fire, chasing Sonic. Oh, great. The Winter Soldier. <laughs> Man, if that's going to be like a whole sequence in the movie, that's going to be good. And of course, we got Knuckles and Robotnik together, and this is where it gets wild. It is my destiny to destroy you. Oh, that shot! Oh my God! He's got all his robots there. We see Knuckles charging up. Oh my God, look at that charge from Knuckles. Just looks so good. Looks so good. Ah oh man, I can't wait to see this guy in action on, in the movie. Oh my gosh. Again, we see there's a giant emerald in the back. Uh, a master emerald or chaos emerald, whatever you want to call it, but giant emerald is in the back there. Uh, look at these statues. That looks like uh, we've got some owl statues. It could be a reference to Long Tail. I meant Long Claw. I don't know why I said Long Tail. <laughs> long Claw. Jeez. The owl that took care of Sonic when, uh, when he was a baby before saying, hey, you got to get out of here because you, you're not safe here. So that might be a reference to her. This shot right here where they're like coming up to each other. They got their blue and red going on <laughs> and then they come face to face. So this makes me happy because what this shows me is that there's going to be multiple interactions between Sonic and Knuckles fighting each other. We got that one scene at the house, we got the snowboarding scene, and now we have this. So it's not gonna be this thing of just Sonic and Knuckles going up against each other one time in the movie. Like, this is gonna be an ongoing thing. The hunt is on, the chase is on, the Winter Soldier, as Sonic calls him. So, but this this shot right here, like, that's, man, I wanna frame that. Like, <laughs> that just looks so good. It is my destiny to destroy you. And again, that Idris voice, it is my destiny to destroy you. Like, this is Knuckles trailer. Like, this is straight up the Knuckles trailer. 
Work smarter, not harder. And then this right here, Robotnik Robot, a robot, Robotnik. Uh, but that head definitely gives me Death Egg vibes. Oh my gosh, it looks like we got the Death Egg Robot. It definitely seems like they're going all out with Robotnik making the stuff with the Robotnik face on it, very similar to the video game. They are just definitely piling on the video game references in this, which I am very excited about, which I thought was going to happen. I know a lot of people wanted a lot of this stuff in the first movie, and I totally understand that. But I still feel like with that first movie, they were like, hey, let's just see if people even want a Sonic the Hedgehog movie first. Let's do something simple like a road trip. Let's have it be mostly in the real world, but have Sonic be a strong part in it, which he was. But since that movie did well, and people responded to it well, and the fandom came out, especially after them changing the Sonic design, I'm sure Paramount was like, all right, that hedgehog made us money, open up the vault, put all the references in, here's all the money to make it happen, make your knuckles, make your tails, make your robotic contraption, just go ahead, do it all. And they're probably doing it all. Hopefully not to the point where now people get lost <laughs> if they're not that familiar with the Sonic lore, but I think it's gonna be just enough, just enough for people to have a good time with it, whether you are very much a hardcore Sonic fan or if you just wanna see a fun family flick. But everything about this is looking so cool. Everything about this, I'm just digging it so much. Oh my gosh. That wasn't too bad. <laughs> yeah, the stuff we've seen before. I'm loving how they're just constantly showing just how fast, gotta go fast, just how fast Sonic is. I'm ready. I am so ready for this. I am probably more hyped for this one than I am for the first one, just because we got Tails, we got Knuckles, we got Robotnik in full Robotnik form. I feel like if anything, this is just gonna be a very fun movie that's actually going to have some good amount of video game references in it. Wow, how far we've come in video game movies, right? But yeah, man, I'm hyped for Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Bring it on, I'm ready for it. I will see it in theaters April 8th. What did you think of this big game spot? Hopefully the coin toss lands on tail so people get free tickets. I love you like a play cousin, I'm out of 5,000.